If you've been spending a lot of time in the Google Ads interface manually and tediously creating ads, clones of ads, but actually manually typing it or manually typing in keywords from another ad group um, or trying to create a bunch of new ad groups from another campaign, the struggle is real. And it you and I both know how tedious it can be and if you were not aware, there is a copy and paste functionality. I'm going to show you how to use it in this video and hopefully it will blow your mind and also save you lots of time from having to do lots of manual tedious work. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media and I help local service-based businesses generate leads through Google Ads. So if you're interested in audit or managed services and you're spending at least $2,000 a month, check out the link below and I'd be more than happy to have a discovery call with you if it's a good fit. Now let me take you into the interface and show you how to use the copy and paste functionality. You can use the copy and paste functionality with your campaigns, ad groups, keywords, and ads. I'm going to show you how to use this with your campaigns first and then show you the others after. So for this example, I'm going to clone the NBHC service campaign. I'm going to select the check mark right next to it and click edit, then click copy. What's going to happen is Google's going to copy everything in this campaign, including all the ads, all the keywords, all the settings, including the location, the network settings, uh, the negative keywords associated with it, and everything else that's associated with it. And then you have the option to then go here, uh, X out, and then there's going to be a pop up here that says paste as long as you've copied it. If Google's copied it, you will see an option here to say paste. Go ahead and click it. And then I'm going to just select, I'm not gonna select pause new campaign. I just want it to appear. Adjust start and end dates. I don't need that. I'm gonna click paste. And it's going to run in um, over here in your um, campaign setup, showing you the progress of duplicating it. Now, this is actually an old, Google Ads account, I don't have much data in here anyway. It's some. It's an account that hasn't been running for years on years. So what's gonna happen is as it's duplicating the ads, it might show an error because I may be duplicating some ads that have been deprecated that are no longer available. So it will give you error notifications if you have any old deprecated ads. If you're using all responsive search ads, you have nothing to worry about, but just as a heads up, if you're using the old expanded text ads, that can also be something that it will notify you of as well. Something interesting on a side note while we're waiting for this to populate and show me the error message or whatever message after it's been updating is that I didn't actually learn about this copy and paste functionality until maybe two to three years into my career when I was working on Toyota at Saatchi and Saatchi. I had a Google rep actually teach me this and they're like, well, uh, if you wanted to do this, you would need to, you, you would need to clone the campaign and, um, you know, set the setting to be this way, certain way. And then I was like, oh man, that's going to take so much work because I have to sit here manually. And they're like, no, actually there's a copy and paste functionality. Did you know about this? So ever since then, that, per, that Google rep actually saved me a lot of time from having to actually manually duplicate campaigns um, by typing in all the keywords and all of the ads. So that is the little story behind it. Here it says your changes have been made but with errors. That's totally fine. That's what we have expected. Close. Yay. It's there. Um, what I'm going to do is do a quick refresher and try to see where it is. Control R is to refresh, which is what I just did. Give it a second to load. And I'm going to click campaign status enabled all. And I'm going to look for the campaign that it cloned. There it is. NBHC service number two. So this is it. 
When I go into here, it's going to show me all the ad groups that I cloned. So imagine having to sit here and like create all these ad groups manually with, I mean, these, there's 24 ad groups that would take you hours upon hours to then, you know, group the keywords in there and then all the keywords associated with it and also the ads. Now here's another quick tip for you is you can copy the ad and then paste it in another ad group. So instead of having to manually create ads, you just really have to do it a few times and then select the ad group that you want it in. And let's say I want to put in this 24 hour ad group. Then I copied it and then I'm just going to click paste. Then just remind them which ad group that I wanted it in. That's the thing. You have to kind of do it twice. And then in terms of, I already said I wanted this ad group, but then it has a pop-up asking you which ad group that it wants it in. Then click paste and it's going to paste the ad. So if you have a winning ad, you don't have to sit there and like copy all 15 headlines and four descriptions. You can just copy the ad that's working well and then paste it in your other ad groups. Let's give it another second. Yep, there it is. There's the ad that I just copied from another ad group. Um, something else that you might find handy is also Duplicating ad groups, copy your ad group, and if you have another campaign that you want to drop it in, you can put it in the campaign that you want it in, and then you can click paste, and where you want it to go. you can also do this for keywords as well. So campaigns, ad groups, ads, and keywords. If you select the campaign and clone it, it's going to take all the settings, ad groups, ads, and keywords. But if you only want to select cherry pick the keywords, ad groups, um, or ads, you can certainly do that as well. So let's see, I'm giving it a second here. It's done and It'll notify you if there were any errors. Changes have been made. Yeah, so then it showed this is the one that was pasted in here. So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of my best tip on copy and pasting and cloning your campaigns without having to sit there and manually type all your ads, ad groups, keywords out and having to look at the settings from the old campaign. This is great for testing and anything else in regards to, um, you know, setting up your campaigns, especially if you already have a winning campaign and you just want to set up a new location um, to test and you want to dedicate a specific budget to it, then you're going to have to want to clone it instead of sitting there manually typing everything out. Um, what do you think? Uh, did you, is this something that you knew about? Um, and what use cases do you see for this? Because there's so many and I would love to hear your feedback. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. And I uh, just want to let you I know that I do post videos every week on Google Ads and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.